but we're gonna do a really nice uh, warm, warm or cold salad, uh, but it, it's a really nice hearty salad. Uh, perfect for those colder kind of days. Um, and very, you know, packed with nutrition. It's, it's one of those filler salads too. It's not like one of those wimpy salads that <laughs> you're still hungry after. This is a nice, a rib nice sticking filling. salad. Yeah, it's a nice filling if salad. If we can say that about salad. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with a squash. Squash of choice. You choose my favorite, uh, I've talked about before, the Hubbard squash are delicious. The buttercup or the, the smaller ones there, fantastic. And a little trick, I'm gonna be running back and forth. A little trick um, to, again, we've mentioned this, but to, to cut the squash. They're pretty hard. Um, you know, sometimes, you know, you, you might be intimidated to cut through it. It could be dangerous as well. Like, see this guy here, look at it rolling around. If it's hard and you're trying to force yourself with the knife, that can be a dangerous situation. So it takes a lot of muscle if you're feeling fatigued during your cancer treatment. You know, you don't need to be wrestling with your vegetables. No. There's an easier way. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and we want you to eat your squash. So um, what we do is, is just pour, poke it a few times with a fork or the back of a knife, um, just so that it allows the steam to release and pop it in the oven. And so we're gonna actually par cook it whole. And we're gonna do this 350 for about 40 minutes. And what you're looking for is, so this is our buttercup squash. Very tasty. Move this aside so everyone can see. And so it should be nice and soft, much, much softer at this point. It's not fully cooked because I want to get a nice roast, some nice caramelization, some, you know, develop that flavor a little bit. But what you will notice is I don't even need an, a sharp knife. I can, and I'll use as little effort as possible to show you Cut it with a butter knife how easy point. it is yeah, to, to slice through it. So a lot more manageable, very, very simple. Um, and then from this point, you can scoop out the seeds, slice it up into like three inch wedges, pop it back on the pan and finish it for 15 minutes. If you're really pressed for time, you could do the microwave mm -hmm. if you wanted to. Um, just make sure again that you're stabbing it with the fork or the knife because you want to let the steam escape. What's going to happen if you just put your squash in the microwave and right? <laughs> You're gonna have squash all over the place. There's gonna be an explosion. You're gonna need a new microwave. So not the ideal situation. So just make sure you, you make those punctures. So this is what we're looking for after. Um, you're gonna have way more pieces from that squash. I just have a few here. Um, and season it, you know, season it to your liking. A little salt, a little pepper, if you like a little spice, add a little chili flake, maybe a little fennel seed. But, you know, don't be afraid to season it. This is, it's got a beautiful flavor. Um, but it really does well with some warm spices. You know, cinnamon is a classic, but even ground ginger is fantastic with this. And I heard somebody comment that the skin is on. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so with thinner, with most squash, um, especially the small ones like spaghetti squash, even these little buttercups, uh, it's a thinner skin and it, they're, it's all edible. You can eat it all. Uh, just wash it really, really well. Uh, sometimes you'll find like some of the bigger squash, like some of the big Hubbards, they have a really thick skin. Um, that'll be tough to chew on. But these guys go really nice and crispy and they have a really nice texture and a, a beautiful contrast to the, to the inside. So you can definitely leave it on, just wash it really well uh, and roast it. And the, it's a beautiful color as well. Like it a nice looks color really nice. contrast. And then of course, nutrition wise, you're getting lots of fiber when you leave the skin on. Oh, my turn. Yes. Yeah. So. Uh, what we're going to do is compose this salad. I don't salad. want to interrupt the recipe flow. Um, and what I want to do is we're using farro grain today. Has anyone used farro before? Spelt, is a, you can find that as well. Um, beautiful grain, delicious, hearty. Uh, this is it dried. Um, and you can come up, have a look at it if you want. Um, it takes, it's, it's about as long as it is to cook barley. Uh, so three to one ratio of uh, water or you can use stock as well to uh, your fado grain, bring it up to a boil, lid on top, simmer for about 25 minutes. It has a really nice, uh, we call it like an al dente, uh, toothsome bite to it. So it's got a little bit of a chew to it, which I like. I don't like grains that kind of just mush and, and fall apart. Um, it does have some, some integrity to it. So delicious grain to use. 
So if you did want the softer, mushier texture, you would just cook it a little bit longer or yeah. add some extra liquid to it? Yeah, you can cook it, definitely you can cook it a little bit longer. Um, it will absorb most of the liquid. There would be some left and you can drain that off. But if you did want uh, even softer, just cook it, yeah, for a little longer. Would you use three cups of water, one cup of milk? Yes, yeah, three to one. Three to one. Three to one. So grain in there, we'll add our beautiful squash. Put this to the side and so that's that's that part that's pretty much the the bulk of your salad now we're going to make a really nice refreshing dressing these are pretty hearty um, we want to make something light something with a little acidity to it to brighten up the entire salad so we're going to make we call it instead of the green goddess dressing today's the green goblin dressing just in time for halloween uh, so we're gonna use arugula uh, beautiful green, um, has a really nice pepperiness to it, but you can definitely use spinach, uh, you can use Swiss chard, you can use kale as well if you want in this. So we're gonna go with about a cup. That guy. You can even put some more in here if you want for color. Some fresh mint, delicious, beautiful flavor. We're gonna go with some garlic. And if you're grating it, uh, which I suggest you do if you're making a dressing, unless you're gonna strain it after, because uh, a, a big chunk of garlic in your salad <laughs> is not the most pleasing. Uh, but if you're gonna grate it, you don't even have to peel it. You can leave the skin on and just grate as much as you want. So this is a pretty big clove. Um, Depends how much of a garlic fan you are. Yeah, and it's <laughs> raw garlic. Raw garlic, especially in a salad dressing, You'll know it's there. Um, so Parmesan cheese. I'm going this route, and I'm, I don't, I'm not using a lot. I'm going this route because I'm, I'm going almost in my headspace, almost like a Caesar salad, where you have mm. this big umami, the savory uh, flavor. So Parmesan is full of umami, and I know, <laughs> I know everyone loves that word. Does anyone know what I mean by the, when I say umami? So umami is like our fifth sense, uh, or taste, taste, not sense. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, Halloween I'm is coming. Blowing your means. minds. It's our fifth uh, taste, um, and it's it's usually represents I guess that savory, almost that mouth watering. Uh, so you find it in, in a lot of soy products, a lot of fermented products, cheese, meats. Um, so great for flavor. We don't need too much, but we're gonna put a little bit in there. Just a small amount of cheese for a dressing. And now we're gonna add some yogurt. Yum. And we're going to use uh, just plain, plain Greek yogurt. Again, you can play with the, whoa, it was going to go. You can play with the fat levels uh, a little bit. Here we're using 0%. So if you're looking for a lighter dressing, definitely, you know, you have a bit of cheese for flavor. You're getting some fat there. So use the 0% yogurt. Or if you're looking to increase the calories, then of course you can go for more of a bulk in yogurt with a higher fat content and then you're getting more calories into each bite. Absolutely. And lemon juice. I'll use a strainer so to put the seeds. Um, if the acidity is a little too much from the lemon, you can even try a milder citrus. You can try like lime juice, even a little bit of orange, like a tangerine or something like that might be nice, or just go for the zest. And then in that case, you might want to add just a little bit of liquid if it's, if it's not blending because you're missing that liquid from the juice. All right, so that lemon's gonna pick everything up. And just a touch of, it's usually not that far from me. A little bit of olive oil. Now I'm gonna season it after. The Parmesan cheese is gonna add a little bit of that, that saltiness to it. We're plugged, plugged in. in. And it'll blend, it'll blend through. If you want it a little thinner, add a little bit more lemon juice, a little bit more water if you want. Or if you want the fat, you can add a little bit more olive oil. Let's see how we're doing. 
Ooh, it looks wonderful. I'm gonna touch, just a touch of water to it because I want it a little bit thinner. Great green color. And the, the arugula does have quite a bit of flavor to it. So really, really, really nice, beautiful green color from the arugula, the mint. And this is a dressing, you can keep it in the fridge. Um, three days, I wouldn't probably go longer than that because you do have some dairy in there. And what we're gonna do is dress a little bit On your salad, always go easier with the dressing at the can't beginning. Can't take it away. Yeah, yeah. You, can't take you can it away. always add more later. And then you can add a little more later. And we'll give it a quick sort of toss. And again, you can serve this warm. If you have the, the squash right out of the oven, it's nice. It'll actually wilt the, um, the arugula a little bit. And again, you know, anytime you cook, you, you want to make sure, you know, taste is obviously a very important thing. Texture is also very important. So we have some, you know, great, beautiful ingredients, some really nice textures, most of them on the softer side. So we're going to add a little bit of, of crunch here, um, but it's not just for texture. These are great ingredients for you as well. Uh, some walnuts and pumpkin seeds. And so you can just toast these in the oven or you can put them raw. And that's our that's lovely yeah. Halloween-inspired really nice. salad. Really nice colors tonight, like green.